<laughs> oh, let's see what we got. It's a great day for America, everybody. Why? Well, I actually, I do know why today. Because this is the day we've all been waiting for. The entire country has been waiting for this day for some time. Today is the day Paris Hilton's album came out. Today. <laughs> today. You know what? <laughs> that was a bit frightening, wasn't it? <laughs> Do you know what, though? Apparently, I've heard a little bit of it. It, it doesn't suck. <laughs> so that's a bit of a departure, I suppose, really. Yeah. But... Hey, hey, wait! Wait a minute! I'm not the one making videos in my hotel room. You go! Don't you judge me! <laughs> Actually, I, I will be honest with you, I'm not that, re I'm really not that interested in Paris Hilton. I mean, it's my job, I'm a late night talk show host, I've got to make fun of her, but I, you know, I don't really care. <laughs> but people say that uh, uh, she sounds pretty good, she does sound okay on this record, her voice sounds okay, but it's because of the studios, I think. They have the technology now, they can make anyone sound good. They can do anything with your voice, they really can. We have the, the, the technology here to make me sound Scottish. <laughs> We use it. I, 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 let's t turn it off for a sec. Turn the thing. Ah, how y'all doing? I'm TV's Craig Ferguson. All right. <laughs> oh, we cheeky monkeys. <laughs> that's right. I put it back. Oh, that's better. Thanks very much. Uh, oh, that's the lamest American accent. <laughs> ah, well, you got to try. I think. Anyway, the Paris Hilton thing is actually not the big news in the music world. You'd think, it must be, Craig, surely. No! <laughs> the big news in the music world is uh, Kevin Federline, K-Fed. His, uh... <laughs> oh, I know. I... He had his uh, rap debut at the Teen Choice Awards. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you saw, if you didn't hear, take a look at this. Here, here he is, man. four fights to eat. Uh -huh. No tuxedo, cause they recognize me. Yeah. Her lifestyle, a rich living in bad uh -huh. Don't hate, cause I'm a superstar. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> See, now, this is a problem. Everybody thinks they can rap. But, uh, well, I, K Fed has proved them wrong, actually. He's now proved <laughs> that not everybody can rap, certainly. But, see, I, maybe, though, we'll give him a chance. It was a, maybe he'll get better. He was probably just nervous. My first rap performance was awful. I was terrible. <laughs> I forgot all my moves. I forgot to touch my crotch. My, <laughs> my hat was on the right way. Everything was wrong. I had my pants on at a reasonable waistline thing. Everything was all out of whack. I gotta say though that this this fella has some nerve making his debut on primetime television. He should have started small. You know, coming on this show, something like that, build up to it. <laughs> yeah, we'd have him. <laughs> no, no. Even here, nah, sorry. Nah, nah, nah we, we we know somebody in Kansas that can make their parrot look funny, so I'm afraid no. Nah. Yeah, move on, son. Anyway. Now, people, <laughs> people think that, you know, uh, Paris Hilton, Kevin Federline, they, they think it's a sign that pop music is getting worse. I say no. I say no, it's not getting worse. It's all, there's always been crap. There's a, <laughs> not all of it, but there's always been crap. Eh? There's always been the novelty acts. There's always been the novelty records. You know, the chicken dance, whatever that was. The, what was that? R.E.M.? That used to be the... <laughs> yeah, they did a block in the place where you live. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? There's one. The who? And the Macarena. Who did that? That was Al-Qaeda, wasn't it, the Macarena? <laughs> Before they turned evil, that was those two. Those two guys. Where are they now? Exactly. I'll tell you where they're in a cave in Tora Bora, these two guys. Death to America. Hey. I see, I think what happens is, you know, I'm looking at the rap, the hip hop thing, and I, you know, and I, the, especially K Fed and I, and I don't understand it, and that's a sign that you, you, you're getting older when you don't really understand the youth culture. You know, I mean, if, the sign you're getting older is if you get on an elevator and they're playing the music and you're kind of like, oh, that's alright, that's pretty good. <laughs> Kenny G, nice. <laughs> Or you search for, you know, KW The Wave on the music station or something. <laughs> Quiet Store, coming up another 60 minutes of Enya. <laughs> oh, huh, 
That girl needs to get an oxygen tank, if you ask me. <laughs> you know what? I am fairly hip, though, because I do get my music through the internet. I download my music now. I don't go to stores. I download it. But let me get this straight. I pay for it. I pay for my music when I download it. It's only because I don't know how to get it illegally on the internet. <laughs> if I knew, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I know, I wandered off in some kind of silent reverie. Anyway, music, yes, music. Be the food of love, then play on, trousers. I, when I was a, when I was a kid, actually, we didn't, I, the, we had one record player for the whole house. It was none of this iPod and kind of doing that little dance thing and everything. That you had to get permission from my dad to listen to your record. Uh, you had to dress up too, you know, I mean, if they went to all the trouble of making a record, you could put on a tie. <laughs> But then there was this huge technological advance where headphones were invented. The original headphones, they were like just speakers with a rope across. They were bigger than your head. You had, to, you had to lie down to listen to the music. Mind you, the reefer helped you get there, of course. <laughs> That's right. Hey, just so as you know, it's still illegal. All right. I know you're baby boomers, but it's still illegal. <laughs> now, listen, the, the K-Fed boy, I understand his desire to branch out from the, whatever he was before, a backup dancer. <laughs> Is that some kind of slang for something, a backup dancer? I don't know. Anyway, he, I see a lot of people in the entertainment business, they, they diversify. They try and diversify. The rock stars go into acting, the acting rock. It doesn't always work. Like Madonna announced very recently, actually, that she's not acting anymore. <laughs> I've seen her movie. She didn't need to make that announcement. I, mean, I, got, I got it. Do you remember everybody got, everybody got mad when, uh, for Evita, uh, Madonna did not get an Oscar nomination because she sucked slightly less in that movie than other movies. I'm like she should get an Oscar nomination. She she wasn't that bad. <laughs> It's the same way when Jim Carrey ever does a movie and he doesn't make his ass talk, he wants an Oscar. Why? <laughs> I think everybody secretly wants to be a rock star, though. Um, you know, I do, everybody does. K Fed wants to be one. I, I, and rock stars, I think, secretly want to be accountants. I think that's what it is. <laughs> I go, oh, you, uh, your, your pet is not a dependent. <laughs> anyway, so K-Fed wants to be a rapper. That's what he wants to do. He wants to be... I'm not surprised either. Hip-hop is the music of this kid's generation. That's what he's... That's what he got. It's his generation. It's his thing. He wants to be part of all that. He, obviously, he can't, but he's trying. <laughs> but what's going to happen to the rappers when they get old? Because, you know what, time marches on. Someday today's rappers will be 80-year-old retirees in Florida. <laughs> then it'll be the identity. It won't be hip-hop anymore, it'll be hip replacement. Then... <laughs> Don't you owe me, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> Puff Daddy will be Puff Granddaddy. <laughs> yeah, but... Master P, Master P your pants. <laughs> to change the whole pant wearing thing as well, all that. Where do we wear our pants? Really hard? I don't know. So the reason why the kids are into the hip-hop, I think, that the, the teens always want to shock your parents. You always want to shock your... Uh, is it, when I was a teenager, I was the same age as these people, I was... Punk rock was the big thing. And the parents were terrified of it. When I was... I used to go... They were like, oh, this is the end of civilization. These kids are wearing hair dye. <laughs> And I'd go out to, I wasn't allowed to be a punk rocker, so when I went out to school dances and concerts and stuff, I'd leave the house wearing a sweater and my little tie and everything, and a little bag of clothes. And I'd go to the bridge at the freeway next to my house, and I'd, you know, take off the little, my little school uniform, put on my uh, punk clothes, and then off I'd go, I'd leave my stuff under the bridge. And ever I, when I, whenever I came back, I'd be gone. And there would be a hobo turn up later in the neighborhood dressed as a, a teenage schoolboy. I'm 
I don't know. <laughs> but the older generation has always been nervous about youth culture. They, they don't like it. You know, when the Rolling Stones uh, were first broadcasting in America, they had to change uh, their lyrics so that, you know, people wouldn't be offended. It was the Ed Sullivan show. They had, instead of saying, let's spend the night together, they had to say, let's spend some time together. <laughs> Perhaps going over your taxes. <laughs> even, even the Beatles. The Beatles, when they first came to America, they had to change the name of one of their of their hits. The original original lyric that they wanted that they used in Britain was "I want to hold your ass." That... <laughs> All right, that's enough. Worldwide pants.